Anson told me that the uh, back channels were just jumping red hot today with a lot of talk um, after I won a couple of games last night and explained how I did it. There were a lot of people on the back channels chatting and saying that they wanted to see me play again. Uh, it's Friday. I got home from work, was thinking about watching a Netflix and just chilling out a little bit. And I thought, uh, well, you know, the people on Twitch are demanding another game. And I came, um, you can check out my last game. I just won one. Uh, I explained how to do it. It was a lot of fun. And I had more than 1,800 lurkers watching. It's really nice to play in such of a large audience. But this is a, a chess instruction channel to teach you common sense in chess without going into a lot of details about openings because most people want to learn how to play um, chess quickly without a lot of memorization. So, you know, we just teach the common sense principles of how to win. So we got uh, 33 seconds to go and I'm going to move over to the gameplay. We're at 24 seconds and counting down. It's a little bit like NASA here. And we'll move over here, get ready to go. And let's just play this game, you know. I've been really lucky winning. If I lose one, I'm going to sing a Broadway song. I used to sing on Broadway. Um, so in any way, it's going to be entertaining. If I win, it'll be an entertaining win. If I lose, well, it's going to be a Broadway song. So stick around in any case. Oh, hey, we're playing the King's Gambit. And when they move that pawn up there, that's actually the best response that they can possibly do. And you got to take, you don't have much choice about that. Uh, they often take the pawn with the knight, and I usually take the pawn, I uh, take the knight with my knight, because the queen doesn't have a lot it can do out there. And you'll see uh, we might get uh, some nice attacks going here against his queen or his bishop, make him think. The important thing is keep him thinking. Now that's an interesting move. It's protected by the bishop. Now this is getting good. Um, if the rook comes to here, oh no, but he castled. Uh, wow, we're doing okay here though. I like this position. This bishop is not doing us any good here. We'll already uh, get that working against this pawn over here. Again, his, his queen's got to move. He keeps moving his queen all over the place. Um, we can get an attack on this pawn. And when we get an attack on that pawn, uh, we get an attack on this pawn too. If he attacks that pawn, you know, it's hard to calculate all this. And if you can calculate it, it's great for you. But if he takes that pawn, he's checkmated. Uh, if he takes this knight, he's checkmated. And if he moves this pawn up to threaten our queen, we can take there. Um, so we're doing okay here. Let me see. Um, if we go here, we put him over there. And if we put him in check, and no, then that's not going to work. It almost works though, doesn't it? I think what we can do is... We got to get another piece into play. I decided to bring that bishop because i uh, get that pawn out of the way so our rook will be activated. Um, we got to move this queen back. I like her over there. I don't want to bring her back along this, this white diagonal. I like her over there. Um, because I have to keep her there. Otherwise, I lose the knight. I have to keep that that checkmate working there. Okay, that's not bad. He's got a white bishop, but our queen and our rook 
are on black, so they really can't be attacked. Again, he can't take because we continue with that checkmate sequence there. Um, I wish, I wish, I wish. I don't know. I'm just going to... We're, part of this is playing the clock, you know, like we got 2 minutes and 43, he's got 3 minutes and 53. Sometimes they get nervous and they forget and they take the night. And You know, he actually could take the night because I take there, but, you know, he's going, we'll see. I, that would be like a night sacrifice at this point. He, I think he's thinking about doing that. If he takes the night, um, I retake, and then he's going to lose. I'm going to move that knight out of there. Or maybe, you know what I can do now? That's the best thing. Right there, boom. Um, let me see now. Can almost threaten checkmate here. The queen comes up here. The king goes over. Mm -hmm. It's not quite really checkmate though. Um, or is it? It's always hard to calculate these things. Check, check. I'm going to, no, and then I won't have the knight there. I don't know. I'm just going to try it and see. I'll, I'll lose the knight. I'm just going to see what happens. I really don't know if this is going to work. If he's smart, I think he'll take that knight because I know, know that I have a, a really great sequence here. Oh, actually I do. If he takes the knight, I didn't even see that before. But that's what's wonderful about the king's game. But there's a lot of attacking possibilities. Sometimes you don't even see them all. Um, because if he takes the knight, he opens that file with the rook. Okay, uh, now we can threaten the king here, you see? Because we weren't really, he, his king was just going to escape over into here if we had come up here and checked him with the queen. But now it's going to be a lot more difficult to escape because we're going to take this pawn. And it's wonderful that our king is on is on black. Okay, hey, we got a resign there. Darn, I was wanting to sing uh, some Broadway, but you know, we got to entertain. You know, I'm a twitcher. We got to entertain some way, and if I can't entertain by winning, I got to sing Broadway. But uh, I won, so. That was okay. Let's uh, do the postmortem, shall we? Um, that's what's cool about Lee Chess. You just click on this. You can get a free computer analysis. Everything's free on Lee Chess. Um, if you have a little extra money, go ahead and donate to them. Oh, look at that. That was not completely valid. We were behind there quite a bit and then we got ahead and then behind but it worked uh, I think we complicated things enough to flabbergast him enough um, that we won the game and I wonder how what he's even rated let me let's see uh, well we flabbergasted him he's above 2,000 um, you know you guys who are, you know, the people who this channel is designed for, you're rated between 1,200 and 1,400. Um, you know, you can win against somebody like I just did, 2,000. It wasn't a completely valid game, but not all games are valid. Um, even Hikaru wins a lot just by 
being a little bit audacious and kind of freaking the people out a little bit. And I think that's what we did here. So let's take a look at this and, and do the play by play and see how it went because chess is psychological just as much as it is mathematical. So, okay, this was the King's Gambit that we played. Interesting, you know, they're saying, oh, that's the best move, but the King's Gambit is also a good move. Um, as I was saying, for you guys to learn how to play the King's Gambit, that is the best response for black. And when they do that, don't waste time thinking about it. Just take him. You've got to take that pawn. There's no other thing to do. Okay, and he took that pawn. Lee Chess is saying, move the knight out. The knight in this position is very important. If I hadn't moved the knight out, he would have got a check here on this diagonal. And it's hard to defend with this pawn because that pawn there and, you know, the queen is here against this rook. Oh, it's, it gets pretty ugly sometimes if you don't move this, this knight out there. That's interesting. You know, I don't usually do that move there, but they're saying that was the best move. Um, that doesn't look like a completely logical move to me, and like I'm teaching people logic, so that's just the logic. Get his uh, queen in the middle. He's rated more than 2,000, two and he didn't realize that his queen was gonna get chased all over the place. I'm going to castle so that my king is safe. And he brought his, his um, bishop out. But this is another thing to remember in the queen's gambit. You've got the knight here, the queen there, against two pieces. Um, you know, two, two, two and two, two against two wins in this case. He cannot take because when he takes, he's only got one. He takes, and I have two, and he only has one, so he's going to lose a piece. So then he went back. Okay, they were telling me to castle, but I thought, okay, let's flabbergast him a little bit. And that was kind of a bad place for the queen. I don't know what it's going to do there, and the rook can come over against it. Um, you're going to see his queen gets chased quite a bit. And there, Leech has told us to move our... Bishop out, which we did. And, okay, they're saying to bring the queen there. If you bring the queen there, he's just going to bring this pawn up, I think. And I'm not sure that that's the best thing to do. Um, that's a question mark. I should have brought the knight back, they say, but I brought the queen out. Now, when he brings his knight out, and I was, oh, look at this. They're saying if I brought my, I was thinking about bringing my bishop up into there because if you bring your bishop up into there, he needs to bring his, his king over in the corner. Uh, obviously, I'm, we're just going to try this and see. And then you bring the bishop back. Well, that would just, and then he brings his king back, and you would just be repeating moves. That'd be a good way to draw the game. Let's go back to where we were. Okay, the position was here. Okay, he brought his knight out. And we did that, which they say is a bad move. He brought his knight over. We brought our queen back to there, which they say is good. Uh, he, Let's see what he did. He took, we took with the knight. Now they're saying he should have taken the knight. And he should have. I don't know, understand why he didn't do that because really we didn't have that checkmate anymore because the knight's there now. Um, but we do have some threats. Uh, you know, we sacrifice a, a piece and theoretically he's a piece ahead, but look at his extra piece that's over here. You know, it's not doing anything. We can bring this thing here in one move. We can trade off that knight he can't retake with the queen because we got the rooks doubled. He has to take with that pawn. Um, his king side is going to be completely opened up against a strongly placed queen, a strongly placed bishop, and at least one rook. 
um, he got flabbergasted. And according to the elite chess right now, if you look down here, where's the little ball? Yeah, right there. He's ahead. According to this, he's ahead by quite a bit. You know, but um, he didn't see it. And now we did, after this, we, now we did the right thing. So we got to get that knight out of there. Um, this is an excellent move because it completely break, breaks up the pawn position. We take the knight. He, either, he cannot retake with the queen. He has to take with the pawn. And when he does, he's completely screwed up. And then uh, we take, take with the queen. I was debating to do that. And they said, yeah, that was correct. Because we'll get a checkmate here. If he takes the, the knight here, that opens the rook against this pawn. So this is this, then this is check because the queen is protected by the bishop. The king goes over here and then the queen comes here check because it's protected by this rook. And remember this pawn would be over there if he takes the knight. So he can't take the knight. Oh, can you believe that? I missed a really strong move right there. Check. He's got one move into the corner. The bishop comes back. It's check again. He's got to come over, and then the bishop takes the queen. So I completely missed that. I moved that. But I thought that was a strong move, too, because I'm going to put his, his king into check. Um, but when I did that, he resigned. And... Maybe with good reason. If you look up here, uh, we've got mate and 10. When you got mate and 10, even if you don't find a mate, you're probably going to have a lot of opportunities. And when you're that far ahead, maybe it's time, maybe it's time to resign. Let's just see what would have happened if he would have taken this. Um, that's interesting. If he had taken that, I probably, to tell you the truth, I would not probably have retaken. I probably would have done this. And there I just win as queen. And why wouldn't I just take his queen? They're saying they move up here. Oh, because I can take his queen with my rook. Well, we're still ahead by 11 points in this case. I probably would have taken with my queen because if he takes here now, I move up here and then I probably, well, we still got made in 15. I mean, we've got a lot of extra power there. Uh, it's tricky though. If he had brought the the, the king over there. We don't want to do the roof, rook lift right now because, you know, that's a horrible check with, with there. He would have come down here. He comes over there. He would have come here. He goes over there. They're saying that that would be the best move. I would have gotten that that bishop out of there. And he comes up over here. We can take the bishop. Okay, so, you know, we're just winning that game. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the game. Um, again, not a lot of memorization there. If you follow everything closely, as I was talking through there, you see it was just like step-by-step -step applying common sense and hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you around.